Hey, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. This is HD StarCraft, and I'm here to bring you guys the grand finals from the Gigabyte NVIDIA Invitational number one. Hope you guys have enjoyed the casting so far. Uh, I've had It's been my pleasure to bring this to you guys. Um, this is the grand finals, and it is a best of five. And coming out from the uh, side bracket here, we have Creator Prime. He took out his own teammate, Marine King, to get here. And he is the Korean hope here to take out uh, his opponent in the grand finals. And who is his opponent? Well, it's none other than Acer's Nurchio, hailing all the way from Europe. Nurchio took out another Korean, Polt. And it was actually going to be three Koreans and uh, Nurchio in, in the semifinals. But then, uh, you know, Obviously, everyone would imagine Nurchio is going to have a very hard time making it here, but he did it. You know, he took out Polt, and here he stands, uh, a shining beacon, if you will. Uh, perhaps not shining as bright as Stefano, but he is many considered to be the second best Zerg outside of Korea. And uh, you know what? If he can solidify a win here against Creator Prime, well, that just uh, further, you know, underlines his uh, his his accomplishments in the record book in the history books of StarCraft 2. Uh, I guess there really isn't history books. It's just uh, Liquipedia pretty much. But uh, you know what? That's uh, that's that's what matters, man. It's all about the wins and who's going to take the grand finals here from the Gigabyte Nvidia tournament. Now, uh, I actually am kind of uh, getting these casts out here in a bit of a rush because the GSL semis are on in like literally an hour. So uh, I'm casting this uh, right before I head to bed and I like to lay in bed and watch the semifinals. Can't wait to see what happens tonight either. Uh, by the way, but by the time you guys see these videos, it'll probably be done already, but it is MC versus Dong Rei Gu, Bian, aka Ghost King versus, uh, oh God, I forgot who it was already, Seed. So uh, it'll be pretty fun to see what happens in an hour or so, but for now, let's get back to this game here. Nurchio coming in with a scouting drone, and you know, he's just uh, checking out to see what's going on. You don't oftentimes see Zerg players pull a drone uh, this early on in the matchup. Oh, that's why. He went for an early pool, and he went early pool gas. He's got six Zerglings on the way, and he's trying to make sure that the wall doesn't complete with the drone, but it was completed, so uh, and now the Zerglings are going to have a pretty hard time getting in there. But, uh, you know, he already made six. There's no point in canceling them when they're this close to being done. Usually there's really no point to canceling them anyways. And he's going to get the hatchery now after the pool finishes. So it's like... Wow, we just have extractors canceling all over the place, don't we? It's kind of like a aggression into expand build. It's not nearly as economical as when Zergs do the other style, when they just go uh, pool and then hatch uh, right after that. But the thing about Ohana is you can actually bust through the side rocks with Zerglings. It'll take a while, but it's possible, you know? Um, although the material is hardened quite a bit to three armor, so... Uh, it does, it's going to take a very long time, and it's probably unlikely that Creator is even going to worry too much about that. He can just put a Photon Cannon right there, and the rocks are protected as well. And we'll probably see that coming up uh, momentarily. He might need to build another pylon. Does he see the rocks getting busted down? He does. He has vision of the Zerglings on the uh, south end, He's trying to break through the rocks right now. In the meantime, Nurchio, you know, taking the opportunity to go ahead and double hatch. He knows that he opened up with a less than ideal build, and that's reflected in the Harvester tab at 17 under 27 right now. Uh, Creator obviously having a huge economic lead, and there it is. Creator says, well, I can just bring out a Zealot, but he gets surrounded against the, the jungle, and uh, that Zealot definitely, his nickname is not Tarzan. <laughs> Can you imagine Zealous just standing here? That would be the next ability in Heart of the Swarm or Legacy of the Void. They have like a shoot the rope to the trees and then uh, down, to the, down to the side. That would be pretty funny. But uh, yeah, Nurchio is uh, actually now becoming a threat at the rocks because Creator did not opt to build a cannon there. But he's got a sentry. And I guess the sentry is going to be enough to ward away four Zerglings. Obviously two of them dying earlier on to the Zealot. And uh, that's it, man. That's the end of the aggression from the Zerg player. That's you just don't see that very often nowadays in ZVP. A Zerg saying, you know what, I'm going to try to switch it up a little bit, and instead of going for a quick hatchery, I'm going to try to attack the enemy player. It just it doesn't happen very often because it oftentimes fails against Protoss that can wall off so easily uh, uh, on, on most maps, this one included, even though there are backdoor rocks. So Creator, really looking good here in the first game of this set. Gonna throw up three gateways here to back up his uh, 
his uh, current production, which really has no robotics yet, but he's going right into Twilight Council. So we'll probably see Blink Stalkers coming out here from the Zer or from the Protoss. And Nurchio right now realizing, well, I should probably bust down these rocks leading to my third, just in case I need to quickly reinforce from side to side. And back inside the home, we do have a Roach Warren coming up. It's possible here Nurchio might feel like he's too far behind at this point. You know, he's at 44 under 47 at 7 minutes and 40 seconds in. Uh, he's under, well, he's about the same supply as Protoss, which is never good news. Um, but he just started his lair, so I don't think he's going to go for something like a Roachling all-in. It's going to take too long, obviously, uh, to wait for speed, for Roach speed, so there was no reason to get the lair there if he was going to go for the all-in. And I guess now we're just going to have both these players... Well, Nurchio try to re-macro. That's, that's the case right now. He's going to try to catch back up. And I think Creator is just content to play as if the Zerg had been playing a macro game originally, you know? He knows that Nurchio's behind, and I guess he feels like Nurchio is trying to play catch-up right now. And the best way Creator's going to win this game is to just pretend like uh, that aggression never occurred. And, you know, take the high road here. He's going to go for another expansion. Kills off the Overlord to the top right as well, but I think that Overlord did see the Nexus coming in. Or at least Nurchio should realize, well, the Overlord died over there, so it's likely that the Nexus is coming up. And, uh, you know, Nurchio, I don't know, man. He's just not looking that good. At this point in the game, if, for example, he had tried to do the Max Roach build uh, popularized by Stefano, at this time he would have a, about 65 drones, uh, a bunch of Roaches building right now. He would be approaching Max in about two minutes or so. But uh, as it stands, he's actually pretty heavily supply blocked. Doesn't have uh, uh, doesn't have as much roaches as I would like to see right now. But you know, he has been able to get some things going for him. The ro the zergling speed, the roach speed. It's a little bit later than what you would expect. It should have finished about a minute ago, but it's still there, and it's still quite possible that that uh, Nurchio here can make something happen out of this game. But remember, Creator's got a bunch of sentries. He went for a fast Immortal as well uh, to back up his uh, sentries. So he'll have anti-armor like crazy. And Nurchio here is just purely loaded on roaches and zerglings. I don't really know if this is going to work out too well, guys. At this point, you know, if he had done the Stefano Max build, he would be maxed. But he's struggling to hit that. Even, even break 142 supply. He's at 115 under 142. So this is not looking good at all. Nurchio going to go for another hatchery over on the left-hand side. Building more Zerglings here. Uh, Observer comes out and Creator sees it. He knows right now that he is not facing off against any threat. I mean, if this army were to walk out right now, this Zerg army would get decimated almost instantly. Nurchio here tries to run up the ramp, but is force fielded immediately, and upon seeing that many Protoss forces, with that much anti-armor capability, and little does he know, but the, the Stalkers are Blink-enabled as well, I think it's probably in Nurchio's best interest here to fall back, um, maybe build up some crawlers, I don't know, this is a sticky situation, and it all comes from his opening build, it just, it wasn't... It wasn't that good, it didn't do any damage at all, and it just set him so far behind in this first game of the set. So, um, I'm thinking here, Creator is just going to push out, and when he does, I think Nurchio's going to be in a lot of trouble. I think Nurchio might just get crushed by this army. Uh, here it comes, and Creator's starting to walk on the creep here. He has an Observer to lead the way, and the Tumors will get taken out. But Creator not opting to go too far on creep. Most players, when they see the purple stuff, they, they take, you know, they err on the side of caution. They don't want to advance on that if it might pose any risk at all to their army. And a Creator here going to go to the right, opting to go for another expansion, playing it super, super safe. Uh, do note, he has a Dark Shrine on the way as well. And uh, an Overseer comes inside, but it will probably be taken or pushed away at least by the uh, Stalkers warping in and Inertio now coming into the front door gonna go for the Forge that's researching plus three weapons but unable to get it and choosing to evacuate the area rather than stay behind and get force fielded and cut off which was I think a good idea but he's sending in some more Roaches gonna try to finish it off before the upgrade finishes and it looks like he's gonna get it if he focus fires the Forge but he's not doing it there we go the Forge has gone down and the Stalkers did not finish plus three so that is one victory that Nurchio can actually take away. That's a big one, too. Uh, the Forge will have to rebuild. Rebuild. Re 
will have to be rebuilt. And Creator Prime here was uh, only operating off of one forge, so that hauls not only plus one weapons, but also plus one armor, or plus three weapons, excuse me. So, uh, you know what? That was a good move by Nurcio, who has now double expanded to the left and the right. And uh, was that move single-handedly enough to get him back in this game? I don't know. Uh, his Brute Lords are really far behind. His high tech is pretty far behind as well. He just started it right now. And uh, he's going to go in. There's just so many Immortals here. And, you know, it's just purely Roaches against... This is like six Immortals! That is insane! Uh, and the seventh immortal coming in here, what's up guys? Seven immortals, what the hell do you do against seven immortals as Zerg? You, he needs to make so many Zerglings right now. It's gonna have to come down to primarily Zergling and Fester. But against a bunch of Blink Stalkers, even Zerglings can fall to, to a large army of Blink Stalkers. They can blink out of the way of the surround, and as long as they stay tightly clumped up in a ball, the Zerglings don't have a chance to get good surface area on individual Stalkers. So, uh, this is going to be tough, I think, for Nurcio, man. This army is really scary. He's going to go in here, though. Force fields are not the best. They're all right. They lock away some of the roaches. Now Infested Terran's coming in. Infested Terran's going to be huge here. But I don't think it's enough firepower for the Zerg. And Creator Prime boldly blinks forward and knows that he's got this one in the bag, man. Oh, this is this is going to be rough for Nurcio if he loses like this. Uh, I mean, it's a best of five, and you're, you've got more chances. But Creator kind of making it look easy with six, seven-something Immortals. That is almost unheard of. You hear of three Immortals. Oops, you hear of three Immortals, four Immortals, five Immortals, and six. But... Seven Immortals is almost, it's like a godly amount of anti-armor. That is, you could have a max army of 200 roaches, and I think seven Immortals would give you a hard time still. Uh, and here we go, Nurcio going to come in through the right side. Doesn't want to engage both armies at once, but this left side army is starting to threaten. A couple of Infested Terrans come out to try to block the way, and Nurcio choosing to pick one off at a time, one side off at a time, which is a smart decision. Now moving clockwise or counterclockwise around the middle of this altar, but uh, I don't know, man. I don't think he's got enough to deal with the reinforcements. He has killed off all the Immortals, and now if he can just make purely Zerglings, he might have a shot, but he's run out of Fungal Energy. And more Infestors coming out. He's going to need to fungle the pack of Stalkers as they're clumped up. Drones! Oh! Almost getting caught. Infestor, however, does get caught. And now DT's making a guest appearance in this matchup. And uh, reinforcements continuing to stream in from the right side. And I think Creator now realizing, oh, there's a hatchery over here. Okay. Let me go take that out real fast. And so he's going to come in while wow, so many Infestors and Roaches died on the way out. Nurcio needed to rebind his rally point to the bottom right here so that his forces would clump up rather than going into that death ball. But uh, unfortunately for him, he lost a good chunk of uh, reinforcements there. And now, I don't know, guys, it's looking pretty grim for Nurcio. Can he hold off this attack? Even if he holds it off, he needs to save Fungal Growth Energy for the Dark Templar. I don't think he's got Overseers anywhere nearby. He's trying to emergency morph in two right now. Gets a great fungal on the DTs, though. But the fungal only lasts momentarily, and the DTs will return back to being invisible. I think most of them did die, but it doesn't matter. Too many Immortals, too many Stalkers, plus three weapons against Nurcio's plus two armor. And it's just not enough firepower. Oh, Nurcio. The Immortals are way too strong in this game. And uh, I guess not too happy about the outcome of the first of the first game of this set. But you know what? I was kind of talking a little bit about the GSL and talking about, I don't know, rambling about other things. And I missed the exact opening build from Nurcio. And I just want to see exactly what the hell he did. I guess he was confirming there it is a best of five. Or creator was. And did he open up with a 14 pool? Uh, yes, he did. It was a 14 pool, it looks like. And so... I guess it wasn't super early Zergling, uh, Zerglings, but the thing is he never made the 16 hatch that you're supposed to make. When you open 14 pool or 15 pool, you're supposed to make the hatch at 16 supply. That's the optimal way to play against Protoss, and I'm just going to reanalyze this one more time and see, was there at any point did he get his hatchery blocked, or was there something that happened? And I don't think so. He's supposed to save up money right now, but instead he ends up saving up a bunch of resources for... Uh, I guess he thought, since he had sent out an early drone scout, that maybe he could prevent the wall from being blocked off and he could leak in there with Zerglings. But then as soon as the wall was completed,
completed, he said, oh, well, now I'm going to have to make a hatchery. So, alright. It was a nice try by Nurchio. It would have been a grand scheme if it had worked out. It would have been glorious, but uh, it's very hard to block a pro from building, uh, 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 finishing off the wall. But anyways, guys, I'll see you guys in the next cast, and it is time to find out who wins in Game 2. This is HD, signing out.